Ahoy hoy there, everybody. We're gonna play some more East 7. I was about to say the wrong number. I don't know. It's episode 5 of East 7, so I was about to say East 5. That's silly. That's a Super Nintendo game. Last time, we finally got some action. We fought a two-headed turtle in an epic boss fight. That immediately was a tone setter for me. We also went to this weird seal. It talked to us. Not a arp, arp, arp seal. I mean like a, uh, a seal of power. We got some abilities from it. Adol got his crazy finishing move Lunar Blade, which killed the turtle. It looks like Doki has a move too called Power Strike. So we'll have to uh, see how that works at some point. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is I didn't really have a chance in the tumult of the crazy combat with that giant turtle, Valklar. I didn't have a chance to talk about it, but it looks like Adol's move, like, leveled up. Um, it also seems to have an experience bar for leveling up, so there is some sort of... Some sort of um, theme of leveling up a skill. Uh, what's more, I think... Let me just test something really quickly. Yes, we still have Strength Blast on here. I, I remember seeing that prompt in the fight too, but I again, it was kind of a crazy fight. I didn't have a chance to talk about it. It seems if you level up a skill enough, you will eventually learn it separate from the weapon. Again, like Final Fantasy IX did, which was a system I really enjoyed. So I'm thinking I need to play as a bit more as Dogi. I'm not sure does the move level up at all when I'm not controlling the character. But, just in case, I think I need to play as Dogi a little bit to level up his combination to level 2 as well. In fact, I'm not entirely sure what makes uh, what makes that um, skill level up. Like, is it just general combat experience, or do you have to like, use the skill to level it up? Does it have that sort of element to it? I can't tell. It, the combat was a bit too crazy. Certainly, Dogi hasn't been using his combination as much as I've been using Adol's Strength Blast, seeing as I'm controlling Adol most of the time. So, that's something to consider about, but we'll worry about that once we get to the field. For now, we need to go see the king and tell him about our exciting adventures at the Shrine of Origins. Oh, also, maybe I will first swing by the synthesis shop. I've been collecting a lot of monster parts. And with some good luck, I might be able to synthesize something fun. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Let's go, Nagadachi. Well, oh wow, though. I, I actually, I thought the Bone Fragment would be the one. Because I beat up so many monsters, but that's actually off still. What I could do is basically eventually make a Nagadachi. If I could just get uh, some more bones. Also, also, this monster hide is apparently a weapon for Dogi, now that I look at it. It's, it's some sort of glove, basically, for him. Now, for some of this other stuff, no chance. The Iron Ore seems to be a key component of these items, but, you know, we can't really do much about that. Well, that's cool. We can make the Eco Extract, which was the healing item, and just make that here. Speaking of which, I should probably buy a couple of those. Valklar ate up my supplies. I, that's what I wanted to talk about. Like, I love that boss, because... That's what I love about bosses, is the kind of boss where you're, like, watching the boss for cues, and you're responding in kind, dodging attacks, and looking for openings to attack, basically. Because when you pull that off, like, perfectly, it's like this, like, it's like this choreographed fight scene. It feels amazing, and that kind of felt at times like that, once I started to, like, get the handle on Valklar's moves. Uh, so yeah, I want to get a uh, couple of eco extracts. Uh, I'll try to survive without without a Samira extract for now, but uh... and that's what I loved about that boss. Is like that was exactly what I enjoyed. Now that said, the the story I've heard online is that um, the East series can be a bit difficult, as I mentioned last episode. And Valklar certainly set a high bar. It felt to me like I was under level to fight him. I wasn't doing a ton of damage to him. I did overpower him in the end, but it felt like the fight went a bit long. And I don't I don't necessarily think that's a problem with the pacing of the game's combat. It could just be that I was supposed to level up majorly before going there, I guess, maybe. 
In which case, this game might actually become... Obviously, it's gonna get more and more difficult. The bosses, like, cues are gonna be less... Less opening between attacks, more aggressive, like... Less obvious cues. I'm sure that's what's in store. So, it might turn out that I do need to, like, grind and I need to really improve my game, but... Um, for now, it, it was very enjoyable, this rumble. I don't think we got to hang out here at the palace grounds before. Hmm? Aren't you? You're the foreigners that recently visited the palace, no? You look suspicious snooping around. Stay out of our way, okay? We're really busy here. I wonder where Princess Aisha ran off to. A runaway princess? That's not possible. Princess are, princesses are supposed to be all prim and proper and whatnot. Also, apparently that character was important enough to get a character art model there, like a portrait. Didn't seem so important so far, but um, oh well. Huh? Who's that? Oh gosh. That, that's uh, quite the big man. Who are you? Ah, oh, I see. You must be those vagabonds his majesty spoke of. I really don't follow his reasoning sometimes. We just recently agreed on a ceasefire with Ron. Now he greets some strange nobodies with open arms. What the hell? No matter. General, as I said before, I'm leaving the matter to you. What Altego needs right now is commerce in the Meadow Sea. We can never be too wary of Rom, especially when it comes to safeguarding our trade ships. And we certainly cannot allow some nameless foreign drifters to wander about the country at a time like this. Understood. However, I must have you know. My men may need to be dispatched elsewhere due to unforeseen situations. There is no guarantee. Yes, yes. All hard-headed fools, I say. His majesty is no different. Am I the only one who seeks to bring about prosperity in this land? Yeah, he totally had that Grand Vizier evil bad guy look the minute he walked out of that door there, so... What the hell's that bozo's problem? Hmm. <clears throat> Adol, I presume. His Majesty may have accepted you into our great kingdom, but you are still an outsider. I'd advise you to stay out of our internal affairs. Also, it is the duty of the Dragon Knights to serve and protect this great nation. We cannot allow you to do whatever you please within these borders. And to punctuate, he'll just walk right between that. Don't, don't do that in real life, guys. Don't walk between people like that if you can avoid. Well, they're a scary bunch. Who the hell are they? We don't know who this is. Counselor to His Majesty, Prime Minister Orbis. And General Dryson, the head of the Dragon Knights. Oh, it's... Oh, I gotta guess it was this guy. Sice. Oh, hey, it's you! So they're the Prime Minister and the Military General here. I guess that would account for their air of superiority, huh? <laughs> Prime Minister Orbis is also Commander Rod's father. I'm sure you can see the resemblance. You mean that jackass who arrested us for no reason? Arrogance must run in their family. Not to mention stupid eyebrows. <laughs> Indeed. So, you took longer than I expected to return. Could it be that you actually found something in the shrine? Well, that's an awkward aside glance. It would appear you did. His Majesty is waiting. You should report to him at once. Oh, he's cool enough not to pry us for details, since it is very important information only to His Majesty's ears. Except he's just gonna stand there next to... Okay, sure, why not? Ah, you returned. You were taking longer than expected, so I was becoming a bit worried. Did you discover anything? Um... 
Adel explained to the king what happened at the shrine. There was a freaking turtle who was so hype! I freaking, I freaking slashed him and then he like made stalactites show up, except they're stalagmites, not stalactites. You can never confuse the two, or a freaking geologist will get mad at you. Ah, of course, stalagmites. Yes, interesting. A titano, so close to Altango City. My apologies, your majesty. It seems our investigation was not thorough enough. There is nothing more you could have done. We do not know where it came from, but I assume the earthquake had something to do with it. A glowing stone monument and a mysterious voice. Not to mention a power strong enough to bring down a titano with one blow. Uh, I'd say the 60 or so blows before did contribute, but... Um... Do you have any explanation? Not quite, but I do have a guess. Adel, that power that dwells in you, it may have something to do with the dragons. Your Majesty, that's... Dragons? What do you mean by that? Is it related to the dragon energy that all the Guinean weapons have? Dragon energy is a bit of a misnomer. It refers to the energy which circulates throughout the country of Altego and is not directly connected with the dragons. That's a really awkward, like, there's this weird energy in this one country to justify. I think I talked about this last episode, but to justify the new gameplay mechanics, it's just, there's a random energy in this one country. I don't know, it's like, it's, it's a video game thing. Yet we do have a legend here involving actual dragons which states that these dragons are godlike beings. Regrettably, there are not many alive today who know of this. The Dragon Knights do not have their name from this very legend, however. Dragons are symbolic of the power that blankets this land, after all. I... Uh, I'm not sure I get it. So basically, you're saying that this dragon energy is now an adult? Well, one cannot be sure. We have no idea whether the dragons actually exist, or if maybe they once did, but then later disappeared. But the power to bring down a titano with just the two of you. I can think of no other possible explanation. That is true. Titanos are creatures that take dozens of our dragon knights to bring down. These two have definitely received power surpassing those of any normal human. This is crazy. Why would a power like that choose Adol? Still a question given how often this kind of things happens, but still. <laughs> I, I like that on the nose. Like, hasn't there been like six games already where you're the chosen hero? I, I don't know. Hmm, perhaps it is destiny. Adol, while I do not know if the power that dwells in you is in fact from the dragons, I can introduce you to someone who is quite knowledgeable in the legend. Would you be interested? I don't know. I'm interested. Come on, guys. <laughs> I thought you might be. While the legend has been passed down throughout all of Altego, perhaps the village most informed about it would be Shanoa. Ma 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 my Shanoa? Shanoa? It is a village that continues to preserve our ancient traditions. It lies southeast from the plains. Eldress Fatima, who governs the village, is well versed in the legend of the dragons. It is also said that the village has an ancient altar dedicated to one of the dragons they revere. Is it like the one we found at the shrine? That I do not know. However, I believe it will be a good place to start regardless. Sias, quill and paper. Yes, your majesty. All right, already we're traveling to another town. Sure, why not? The world map didn't look super huge, if we're perfectly honest, so... This should make it easier to speak with the Eldress. Take it with you. Adol thanked the king. No need to thank me. I am personally curious to know more about these dragons myself. If the dragon knights were of a... <coughs> Your Majesty! 
do not worry. It is only a small fit. It has subsided. Wow. They couldn't really actually animate them crouching down, so they just did like a little fade thing there. Oh well. It's not a big deal breaker. Your Majesty, you must limit the time you spend on official business. If anything were to happen to you, the Kingdom of Altego would... Enough. I have already given a large portion of my duties to you and the Prime Minister. It's not as if this illness can be cured. Allow me at least this much. I understood, Your Highness. Are you... Are you alright? Uh, please excuse me, I did not mean to frighten you. I am currently fighting an illness. It is a malady particular to Altego, but it is not infectious, so there is no need to worry. Uh, back to the matter at hand. The road to Shanoa is long, and there are many beasts outside the city walls. Be careful on your journey. Freaking, I'm just looking forward to a big old fight with some beasts. You can level up uh, skills with Dogi and freaking get some level and get some loot to synthesize our fancy new weapons. Let's talk to these guys before we leave. There's no need for concern. No work could get done were I to call upon someone every time this occurred. But your majesty, you've been suffering these attacks more often lately. You mustn't exert yourself. I didn't take you to be so prone to worry, Sias. Even the Altaginian Falcon can be rattled on occasion, it would seem. This is no time for jest, Your Majesty. That nickname has no bearing on this situation in any way. Okay, well, you guys uh, figure that out, and um, your generic, life-threatening, uncurable disease, plot disease, you can figure out how to solve that. But we're gonna go do the dragon thing now. And... With sheer dumb luck, we may find a cure to whatever ails the king while we're at it. As oft happens. Oh, oh, that's not Tia. Okay, there's someone else. What? What's this girl? Let go of me. I don't want Sigrun to find me. Ah. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Ow! Stop! Stop it! <laughs> Wow, look at how far those two walked before they were like, uh, oh, well, we maybe do something about this. <laughs> hey, Maya, what are you doing here? And who's this? But what do you think you're looking at? Wait, red hair? I see now. You must be that adventurer or whatever. Waste of time. Why did Father invite these nobodies to the palace? I mean, they're just... Oh, mmm. Way to telegraph who this character is gonna be. <laughs> oh well, uh, I'm fine with it. What? You got something to say? N no, not especially. It's just, uh, what's with the outfit? Excuse me? Look, do you know who I. <laughs> I, I mean, um. Uh... Listen, you better not do anything suspicious while you're in Altego, you got that? Self-important Prime Minister is always giving me such a headache. Bear! <laughs> Ow! I said stop! Do you know this girl? Teachers of manners. Okay, bye, not important <laughs> character. <laughs> I'm sure we won't run into her again. What was that all about? That girl. She's definitely hiding something. If only someone would have mentioned a missing person in the last 15 minutes. Well, whatever. Maya, you should be careful when you're talking to strangers. They might be dangerous, you know? Eh. Uh. Okay, bye, Maya. Just, you know... Just, yeah. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs> I'll just take that as a yes. Speaking of which, maybe we should go visit Tia before heading out to Shanoa. She helped us out a great deal. Wouldn't hurt to thank her again. Okay, well... You know what? Why not? I... I... <laughs> I probably would have walked out of this town. 
<laughs> without dropping in, even though she's such an obviously plot critical character, but. <laughs> or is she? I, I don't know. Whoa, was, was this thing here before? Look at what the. First of all, what's with the parasaural offices here? Why are you using those as. as, like, mounts? Wouldn't a giant yellow bird make more sense? Whew. Finally! Crossing the plains here is a hassle these days. Huh? Well, this is your first time seeing a longma cart. Longma carts are pulled by tamed longmas in order to travel swiftly from one destination to another. These guys here are longmas. The one on the right is Snowball, and on the left is Santa's <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't read that line straight face. Wow! What a... Okay. Oh, Sim Simpsons is having a resurgence these days. Everyone's making steamed hams jokes all of a sudden online, so, um... Sure, well, why not freaking have the two pets from Simpsons? <laughs> okay, let's try again. These guys here are long mass. The one on the right is Snowball, and the one on the left is Santa's helper. Cute, aren't they? <laughs> wow. That's, uh... That's the name of uh, the cat and the dog in The Simpsons. For those unawares. Are they? Am I going crazy? It's, I, I swear Santa's helper is the name of the dog. And if I'm feeding wrong trivia right now, maybe I just have Simpsons on the brain, because, I don't know, Simpsons has a weird resurgence. The last I remember, everyone was complaining how it wasn't the same for the last 20 years, basically. And now, suddenly, but, okay, I guess it's not really, because people are really just quoting old, 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 old episodes, basically. It's, no, it's not really it's that much of a resurgence. Steamed hams is like freaking. I'm gonna say 96, maybe. Oh, what's this now? Dear, I'm greatly indebted to you. No, no, you needn't be. Just leave the delivery to me. Thank you for everything. Oh, excuse me. Ah, Adel and Dogie. A little strange looking, that one. Heh, <laughs> his name is Dalion. He's like a doctor around here. He used to be a priest at the temple in the city. But now he's working hard at the Old Town Sanctuary to come up with medicine to keep us all healthy. I'm also pretty good with herbs, so I try to help him out whenever I can. I see. You must be more than just pretty good if a doctor trusts you that much. <laughs> that's kind of you to say. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to check the schedule for the next Longma cart. This medicine absolutely must be delivered to Shanoa this go-around. Shanoa? As in my Shanoa? The village in the woods? Yes. It's rather far from here, so I take the Longma cart there several times a month. Huh. Hey, Ado, what should we do? Oh wow, a side quest, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> Forget it! No, of course we're gonna do this, why not? Adel explained to Tia that he will be going to Shandoa, and offered to deliver the medicine for her. You're headed to Shandoa? But you've only just recovered. Ha ha ha! Didn't you know? Adel and I are made of steel! We're going there anyway, so please, let us take your package for ya. Hmm. Okay, I accept. Thank you. All right, T.S. Medicine. I don't see why we wouldn't accept this side quest, honestly. Please give it to Eldris Fatima. Um, and don't push yourself too hard, okay? I hear Shanoa Forest has become quite dangerous of late. Well, quest one, delivery from Tia was added to the journal. During your travels around Altego, you'll come across numerous quests. While these are not required to progress the story, you will receive rewards if you complete them. Yeah, so really, there's no point in me not doing those, or at least picking them. To get to Shanoa village, take the main road to the east and head through the forest. Please deliver the medicine to a woman there called Eldress Fatima. I'm sorry to make you do this when you've only just recovered. Please be careful on the road. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry about it, uh, T. 
Yeah, this is a, uh, this is a uh, easy peasy, I'm sure. Let's uh, let's have a look at this map here. Right, oh, we'll follow the road we took last time. We'll come to a fork. We will actually head south. That tip about going east is kind of a uh, bit of a misnomer. We need to make a big crescent sweep to get there. Also, he's, she said that Alp Shanoa Forest is dangerous. I was going to suggest what if we take the long route, but there doesn't actually seem to be a uh, connecting road between Shanoa and Segram, I believe, is the place here in the uh, southwest. So, I guess, yeah. It looks like the game wants us to go through the spooky Shanoa Forest. Ah, I'm sure it'll go fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll just... All right. Well, I guess I'll run around as Adol while I'm still in town. Simply for main character purposes. But, um... Where do I look at my journal, by the way? Oh, here we go. Journal. Quest. Uh, looks like there's only 20 quests in the whole game. Unless a second page pops up. Alright. Deliver TS Medicine to the Shenoa Chief. Easy peasy. A lot less than uh, Trails in the Sky, Legend of Heroes. That has quite the elaborate side quest system. But they're still good side quests, most of them. They're not... They're not just go collect 20 bear skins. Like, uh, I, I, I was impressed with the side quest system there. Fortunately, I never did beat that game. I don't know. It was... Much like this game, it was charmingly old school. But I uh, just kind of left it halfway. But I left it... I left it uh, at the part where you go to the third city. The, you come down from the mountains. It's like chapter three, basically. Or Actually, I forget the chapters. They meant a prologue chapter. It's once um, Estelle and Joshua are back to being just the two of them again. You lose the other party members. Let me at it. Man, this music. I, I freely admit, like, I've, I've made it clear, as, as much as I like JRPGs, I've mainly favored Squaresoft productions over the years. So, like, for example, games like uh, this, like all these Falcom games I've missed out on for m most of my life. I really need to make it my mission to play more JRPGs than just Square stuff, because, for example, these amazing soundtracks I would have missed out on. And I'm not figured to do figured to play these games for once monster fluid sounds good oh it's one of these guys how did I do the uh, the big the slam I hold down the trigger that's right I'm gonna BAM combo that cute rabbit are we still all okay oh I need to by the way let's let's do some science again so we got the combination, it's 86 and 34. Let's kill an enemy without using the combination. And this guy is dead. Now let's see. 86 and 34. So now let's... Now did that change anything? Yes, 90 and 30. So it looks like you level skills up by... Um, using the skills, not so much um, by just leveling up, which is a really important thing to know. I need to kind of use skills. Oh, but let's read them. Let's read that sign while we're going this way. Yeah, Shanoa village. So many Cremelis. But, I mean, what choice do we got? We gotta do all these Cremelis, I guess. Ah! Oh my god, this flamingo! Oh, I didn't... That, that flamingo scared the crap out of me. And it shoots rocks out? Oh boy. This thing means business. I know I'm using kind of the wrong move here, but, uh... Using, uh... Using our buddy... Dogey with his fists. We're supposed to use Adult Sword on those slimes, but da. Ah. Okay, Shanoa Village is now to the south. A few less Cremelias. What is to the north? It doesn't say what's to the north. Ah! 
Ow! First hit. Boom. Oh. I can punch that flamingo. Teach you some le le lesson in humility. I don't know. I don't actually have any problem with flamingos. They're they're all right birds. Yeah, I'm wondering, should I go adventuring for the heck of it to the north? It doesn't seem like my style to go out of the way. What's this? Lugat fruit. All right, we'll take some lugat fruit. Uh, very juicy. The ones that are slightly hard are the best. Well, let's stand around a bit and heal up. Oh, we're already healed. I guess lev the leveling up heal us completely. That's kind of cool. Uh, a bit more. They don't level up super fast, these skills. It looks like you really do need to use them a lot. Fair. Ah. Oh yeah, because his move costs a lot, uh, Dogies. So maybe I should use this more often. <laughs> I don't know, it seems like the spamming attacks works well too. Uh, let's see. We're doing fine. I, I, it looks like you get two points for every kill you make. Maybe. Now this side area I think we can have a look in. This looks alright. I don't know. Charging up this Mega Man attack. I don't know if how important that is. Oh. By the way, I do have to commend the game's AI. Well, immediately, Adol's not doing what I wanted. Is him helping me collect this stuff. The fact that the AI helps you collect stuff is super cool. Not to mention, in that Valaklar fight, I was really impressed with Doki's AI. He was, uh... He was really avoiding the enemy's attacks really well, and, like, using the openings. It seems like the AI was kind of following what I was doing. So when I was on the offensive, the AI would follow suit, and when I was, like, dodging stuff, then Dogi would also dodge. But that's still really impressive, like, like it, it really does feel like the um, AI character was contributing in that fight. Also, here's a giant freaking skeleton, probably one of those Titanos. Pretty cool. Oh boy, all these monsters. Okay, Adol, I'll just... Take the Ankylosaurus here, and you beat up the Flamingo. 